guys, it's Sakwams. Welcome back to my channel. It's been forever. I mean, almost four months, so I'm really sorry for that. Um, my art goals was a complete fail because I said I will post every month and I didn't. Uh, life gets in the way. I will s probably make a vlog at some point telling you exactly what happened in my life. Good things. A lot of things, but good things mainly, so I'm really excited. 2019 so far has been really, really, really nice. But yeah, hello guys, hi again, welcome to every new subscribers. Thank you so much for um, to like drawing with waffles because she made a video recently opening the scroll box that I was featured in, and I received a lot of feedbacks and a lot of new subscribers. So I'm really thankful for that. So welcome to my channel. Hi, my name is Emily, but I go by Sakuems. This is like my brand name, and I make art videos, but I mainly make art and coloring books and lots of stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, feel free to check my videos. But yeah. Because I gained so many subs, I figured it was the perfect timing for me to make new videos. And yeah, so hope you will enjoy this one. I'm going to do a little time-lapse artwork, but I will do also a tag. Um, those are the 10 things you don't know about me. And yeah, hopefully you will find things interesting. Uh, <laughs> most of the things that I will mention I've never talked about in this channel. And a lot of you guys have been wanting to get to know me better. So, in the future, for my next videos, I will definitely try to keep it really personal. I hope you will enjoy the time-lapse and getting to know me a lot better. Let's go! So, before I jump into telling you the 10 things about me you don't know, I wanted to mention stuff about the work you are seeing right now. So, this piece um, is for a customer because uh, one of my supporters just got, a few days ago, a lot of things on my store. And I wanted to thank her uh, by adding a new original to um, basically the order. And yeah, so I've decided to reuse one of the sketches that I've done a couple months ago. Is it like a, a year ago? I feel like it's pretty old. This is like one from a um, oil paint review that I've done a couple months ago. And I really, really like the, the design and the girl. And I really wanted to reuse her and to try to... I don't know, just changed the way I was coloring because I was using oils in that video and so it's a very realistic type of way of coloring and so for this piece I basically just did almost completely differently. So I was using watercolors mainly. The background you're seeing is something that I've done like a long time ago and when I was working on those backgrounds I always leave some of the space kind of pale because I know I will use them to transfer an artwork and then just do the rest of the artwork. So I was uh, scrolling through like my, I guess my watercolor base because I have a few of those and I decided to use this one because this is one of the greenish, yellowish background colors and I don't really use green as much so I figured hey why not use this one. So I've used um, the, the sketch that I've done, I transferred it and I was using my Sakura Pigma Microns, um, those are like the new ones that I got recently. Um, yeah, Pigma Microns, I was using the pink, uh, is it called pink? I don't even know, like, if there's a color. I use the pink, but I also use mainly the blue, like, the light blue one. So I did that for the, out the, the outline, and then I worked with a lot of different tools. I was like, it's been forever since I have draw, so um, I was kind of, like, rusty, because I didn't know really how to blend. It was kind of strange. It took me, like, at least 30 minutes to really get into it. But I've used some Arteza, like, water brush, like, the colored one. I've used my Tombow markers, but also, like, water, not, like, water base, but, yeah, those, like, watercolor base pen, like, pens. I've used some, uh, what is it called? I've used some of my own watercolors from the Winsor & Newton brand. I've used some colored liners. I've used also the watercolor pencils, some Inktense pencils. I've used so many things. <laughs> uh, what did I use? I also used, I believe that was basically it because I didn't have like, a lot of different tools. And then a water brush, like the ones with water inside them, because I wanted to smudge everything. When that was done, I used a tiny bit of Copic markers, but um, the one I wanted to use, they're kind of like running out of ink, so I couldn't really do that. 
So I switched to uh, my water-based tools and yeah, and then I added my dark outline with a fine liner. This one like a dark blue from also the Arteza um, like fine liner product range. And the last thing that I've done was adding highlights with my luminance pencils and my Prismacolor pencils and my white, what is it called, the Pentel, is, is it the Pentel, is the Unibol Signo Broad White Pen. Uh, it works a lot better than the Sakura Jelly Roll Pen because, I don't know how, I mean, I would like it for, for it to be just a tiny bit, uh, I guess, like, smaller. The line is kind of thick. But the flow of the ink is so much better than the Sakura, like Pigma, uh, not the Sakura, the Sakura Jelly Roll. So I didn't use that. I also used like a, um, is it called? It's a Pentel Hybrid, hybrid Milky Colored. That one is a blue gel pen that I used in the background. And yeah, it had it like little details around the flowers with the white pen. And that was basically it for the, the tool that I'm using on this. As for the artwork, um, there's not like a lot to say about this piece. It's pretty basic. It's just a portrait with like little flowers. Um, I didn't want to spend like hours on the concept because this is just a gift, like an extra piece to offer for a big order. Um, but I do have a lot more concept art coming. I'm working on my book. I'm working on uh, like tattoo design. I'm working uh, on so many things that I really want to have like more intricate concept and story behind so I will have that on my channel whenever I feel like the piece is ready to be filmed but yeah that's just basically it so I'm just gonna go straight into the rest of the video and tell you the 10 things you don't know about me and um, yeah and again thank you so much for everyone who's been subscribing to my channel recently I'm so happy to have my channel just starting growing again and that's also why I'm posting new videos I feel like it's just now or never because I want to take yeah I mean I want to take advantage of that little influx to start posting again so yeah i hope that you will find this video interesting by the way because i feel like it's just one of those videos where it's like i mean everyone has been wanting to know more things about me for like a long time and so because i have new people coming on this channel i figured it would make just more sense to do it now so yeah um hope you will enjoy those like info about me so yeah, uh, first thing first, I am French. Um, I don't know why even like after 10 years making videos, I still have a lot of people shocked and finding out that I'm actually French and that English isn't my native language. Um, I do have an accent, so I don't know why people assume that, but a lot of people assume that I was like German or that I was Australian. I don't sound Australian, but why? <laughs> but yeah, th there's not a lot of people who assume that I'm French, but I am French and I was born in France and I'm still living in France and uh, in a small, t like it's not a small town, but um, it's pretty like not big <laughs> in the middle of France. So yeah. Uh, number two, I love cats and animals in general, but mainly cats. And like, I adore kittens. I'm like, who doesn't like kittens? That's just like the most precious, cutest thing ever. I'm pretty sure they like rule the world at that point. So yeah. Um, number three, I really don't like the color orange. Who likes orange? Like, if you like orange, tell me in the comment section why. Because every time I work on a piece, and I have some sort of weird mixed color uh, with like yellow and I'm trying to put like some of a red or I don't know what it is, but it turns out orange. I always overlay them like with pink. This is my go-to shading color for yellows because I don't really like orange. I don't know why. I mean, like I'm pretty sure in my Copic marker collection, the only markers who are brand new, which are brand new, are my oranges because I don't like that color. <laughs> I don't own anything. I don't even write in orange. I don't know if this is like a very violent color. I yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> Number four, I'm a pimple popper addict. Yes, I am one of those people, guys. I'm so obsessed with medical procedures in general. I love watching people clean like wounds or getting their toenails like polished and clean. I even like watch surgeries online, but people video, I'm just, I'm so down for it. It relaxes me to just see them like 
being out of the face and so clean afterwards. I feel like it's just a purifying type of content. So yeah, it's pretty relax relaxing for me. And I know like a lot of people are either grossed out at, at it or they really like it. So I'm one of those people who really like it. <laughs> Number five, I love to cook. Um, I do live alone, but I always cook for myself and I enjoy food a lot. I try my best to have fun and prepare things that will like be tasteful and flavorful. I like to have a lot of spices. I like um, Asian food. I like to uh, Italian food. I, um, I'm not like a big, big fan of French cuisine, but I do like my mom's cuisine. <laughs> and yeah, so I try my best to, to cook and I really like, like that. And I also like to cook for others. And it's really something that I could imagine doing like for hours. I don't really care if it takes me three hours to cook something. I will enjoy as much if it took me like five seconds, like a grilled cheese. So yeah, <laughs> I really, really like to cook. And I have a lot of cookbooks. Number six, I am a lot into nature. I can't spend a day without trees or a park or taking care of my plants. I'm not like a really good, like take like caretaker of plants I always like they die with me but I'm trying my best and I'm getting better at it <laughs> so yeah I really really enjoy that and I really hope in the future when I like leave this apartment that I'm living to have like a little house in the countryside with enough space to have a garden and grow everything I want to be able to cook things afterwards like I would just love to take care and when I was a kid, um, when I was living with my uh, both my parents and my um, grandmother and everything, she had a big garden with lots of plants. She had a lot of fruits and vegetables. My aunt as well. Like we had everything. We never buy any uh, fresh fruits or vegetables. And I really, really missed that when I moved to the city because we couldn't have that. So this is one of my goals for the future, to have my own garden. So yeah. Uh, number seven, I do meditation almost every day. I really like uh, new age music, Zen music, and like medita meditative, meditative. What is it called? Meditative music. Uh, when I get up in, every morning, almost every morning, I put on music and I try to relax and stretch. I don't do it every single day. I should, but at least a few times a week. And I couldn't live without music, so uh, for sure. Um, my favorite genres are definitely like any instrumental sounds and pop music. So yeah. Number eight, I am a big sleeper. I don't know, but like, I really envy people who can function on five hours, six hours of sleep. I can't function properly if I don't have at least nine hours. Always feel tired. This is a lot also linked to um, the medication I'm taking. But even with that, I always have been someone who needs a lot of sleep. Um, yeah. I mean, I wish I was more efficient and need less sleep, but this is just how I am. And yeah, I also really like to sleep, so I guess that helps. <laughs> so for the past two years, I really tried to respect my natural rhythm. Not easy, but I do feel better when I sleep at least nine hours. And uh, yeah, it's really strange for me. How can someone function with like five hours? But props to you guys if you can, because yeah, uh, it's just I can't. And some people need to sleep like 12 hours, so I guess I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there's two left. Number nine, I don't like coffee. I don't really like tea um, unless it's iced tea, but I don't like coffee. I don't like wine. I don't like beers. And I don't like fizzy drinks. <laughs> I'm like one of those weirdo. like, what do you want to have for a drink? So I'm like, let's just get out for a drink. And I'm like, the only one who orders either fruit juice, iced tea, or a cocktail. I do like cocktails with like rum inside them, but uh, it's pretty high in calorie. And uh, with my current, um, because I have type, type 2 diabetes, I have to be careful with that. But I do like to have a mojito or like, yeah. So, but because of the current medication I'm on, I also have to be careful. But I've never been drunk. Yeah, this is like something that is really shocking to a lot of people when I say that. But I've never really been into alcohol as much. I really, I will have one or two drinks and that's it. Like I have enough. I don't really get why people get drunk. But maybe one day I will be. We'll see. Maybe I will record that. This could be fun. <laughs> but yeah, I don't really drink wine, beer or coffee. And uh, yeah, I guess that is just what it is. <laughs> and the last thing that I wanted to talk about, uh, I think like 
a lot of people can relate to this one. I am definitely addicted to heart supplies and books. Like, I always buy stuff. I've never had enough sketchbooks. I don't have enough books. I don't have enough, like, notebooks or pens. I swear I have at least 10 books waiting for me. And same with video games. I don't know, like, how I will survive if I had another job, like, with hours and a schedule. Because I wouldn't have enough time to play and do other things. Even now I don't have it, but yeah. But I trust my life, like, I really like being self-employed. But yeah, I should probably try my best to read more of the books that I just bought. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm addicted. I just, I don't, I don't know why. I really like to dive into... It's very therapeutic for me to buy new things, I suppose. And like, I don't do it because... I mean, I, I buy stuff that I want to use, but still, I feel like I should at least finish the books before buying new ones. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I remote a lot, and I talked a lot. It's been a while since I've mentioned, like, talked to you guys. And I really want to get back into making videos. Um, it was kind of hard for me to organize my new schedule uh, and find time to sit and talk and record stuff but I will try to at least think about it and consider posting more I don't want to have any set schedule so I don't know when I will see you again but I will try to have a video each month uh, I think it's just something that I really want to try so we'll see about that but yeah hope that you will had like a nice time watching this video and like learning stuff about me i would love to know any random weird facts about you let me know in the comment section tell me just like something about you and yeah it's nice to get to know each other so yeah thank you for watching yes and don't forget to like the video and if you want to check my um other stuff i will have my social link below and my art store as well i have a lot of things so if you don't know my art and stuff you can check it out art prints and books and art books and uh yeah there's a lot of things so then yeah i think i covered what i had to say so thank you again i'll see you very soon take care all bye bye